Hello and welcome back to the wild wormhole where much like the car you never know what you're going to get uh, here with another commentary from the Kip True Survival Tournament held this weekend. Uh, we are in round seven uh, with a match between uh, Colanti and Jay Filipeg. Uh, they're coming to the match, I believe, each with two losses. So this is their their final chance, their final deck uh, that they will be uh, they'll be playing. So they're playing for survival here, um, and Colanti is playing F Mercier. Dutteressa, I'm not even going to try that. <laughs> Brobnar this Logos. Uh, Brobnar looking for interesting things. We've got uh, Double Crump uh, with Gengar Chieftain. Smash, War Drummer, um, Gengar Chieftain. That, there can be some interesting things there. Dis, Double Mind, Bar, Restoring Guntis, which in Double Succubus and never count out a Restoring Guntis deck. And Logos, some library access action and some good, uh, um, some good quality um, efficient cards. And then uh, we saw Jay Philpeg on uh, uh, recorded yesterday, um, but uh, we'll see his deck here. I believe uh, I believe this is a new deck, but this is uh, Veltner, the Agonizing Bog Sergeant. This logo shadow, so it looks like we got classic Coda Showdown. Double Control the Weak, uh, very strong. Um, he's got a good board wiping gateway. Logos has Bouncing Death Quark. Uh, it's a Time Traveler deck. Wild Wormhole, which we always love to see. And Shadows, we got a couple uh, Pawn Sacrifices with three Urchin. And we got a Fagin. Look at that. Uh, plus double Umbra and Night of the Thief. There is a ton of stealing uh, in this deck. So uh, looks, again, like a very uh, very efficient. Uh, Logos is going to draw a lot. Shadows is going to steal a lot. This is going to control a lot um, kind of matchup. So um, so we'll see how this goes. And uh, Kalanti goes first with an Ember Imp. Always a great start. Limit your opponent what they can do. Uh, drops the Umbra. And drops the second Umbra. And that'll be it for his turn. He Oh, he's discarding the Urchin and discarding Fagin. Wow. That is uh, that is tough for him. But I think he's trying to uh, cycle a little bit faster. Doesn't want to get stuck uh, uh, trying to kill the Ember Imp. So maybe digging for the Pawn Sacrifices. Yeah, So and it's a good thing he did because War Drummer smashed double stunned. Uh, okay, so he gets the the twin bolt mission to kill the ward or kill the ember imp. Put two into smash. Plays wild wormhole. Automatically wins. That's house rules, guys. He wins. GG. All right, fine. Uh, lab work. He gets the uh, archive and then uh, stops him from fighting. Skippy time hog, which stops him from uh, using any cards next turn. Research smoko. Doctor Esco Terra. Man, they're playing quick. I love it. Shadows. Back to Shadows. Drops the special delivery, which allows him to do three to a flank creature. Uh, he pawn sacrifices an Umbra to kill uh, the Brobnars. Uh, War Drummer and Smash. Drops the Shadow Self uh, to protect the Umbra a little bit. And uh, plays Ghostly Hand and Naughty the Thief. Uh, so those two, uh, Naughty the Thief and Umbra, are well protected with that Shadow Self. Ooh, he mind barbs, discards the control of the weak. That's got to hurt. Plays shaffles, poltergeist, the special delivery, and uh, and kills Naughty the Thief. Uh, or, sorry, doesn't kill him because the damage goes to Shadow, shadow Self. Uh, so it's a good thing he's protected. Man, good back and forth already. Uh, but Jay Philbeck, he does, sorry, he does uh, forge. He got, up, he got enough uh, amber just to burst forward like a good Coda deck does. Umber moves the stun. Shadow self reaps. Night of the Thief steals and is holding Kalanti back, even though he has a little bit of a. All right, so Restoring Guntis drops, stops him from choosing shadows. So I don't know what his hand holds, but let's see how much he locks him out. Drops the Terror. Succubus uses Shaffles to fight. Okay, so he does have other cards. He's not locked out. He's got the Dust Imp. He's got Tendrils of Pain, uh, which he deals to himself very confused but okay oh it goes to everybody i'm sorry uh brain fart yeah tendrils of pain goes to everybody shadow self is still alive charrette drops captures a couple amber library access plays the wild wormhole gets a ganymede archivist archivist which is even better for him uh sloppy lab work nice little li library access turn here 
So you, you got to wonder. Uh, so he he discards the Dominator Bobble with Sloppy Lab work. Got to wonder if he's going to go into the Shadow Self and uh, get rid of that. Yep, he is. Research Smoko fights Umbra uh, to get him off to prevent some of the ceiling. So trying to slow him down there. Uh, back to Jay. Uh, let's see uh, see where he goes. He's going Logos. He does have the Anomaly Exploiter, which can be a very vo uh, versatile card. Kills the Succubus because he has damage on him. Drops Quick, so the Adventurer. And Death Quark comes out. Destroys Shaffles. Destroys uh, Dust Imp, which gives him two Amber. Uses it again to kill the Archivist and Quick, so the Adventurer. And then he plays Help from Future Self uh, to get the Time Traveler out there. Time Traveler hits, puts him up to six Amber. All right, so he sounds the horn, discards uh, a couple guys, gets Crump. Crump comes down. Again, Jay Philpeg is at check for his second key. Ganger Chieftain comes, so Crump is able to kill Time Traveler, pull him off check. Ooh, a nice little foil Crump there. Love that feature on... Uh, uh, on Kip there. All right, so going back to Shadows. Urchin steals one. Umbra comes back. Naughty of the Thief uses his action to steal. Pawn sacrifices, kills the Urchin. Looks like he's going to take out or put three into Crump so he can't get as much advantage out of him. And, uh, and the other Crump. And then another another pawn sacrifice. All right, so the crumps are gone. That'll help him out. So he's uh, he's really keeping Kalanti uh, uh, away from getting a lot of amber. Uh, Kalanti uses grenade snib to uh, make him lose uh, some amber anger. Use him to ready. oh so because he had the elusive. Yep yep yep. So banner battle. Uh, Ganger chieftain comes in reaps so puts him up to five amber. Oh, and Jay Philbeck plays three fates when your opponent has three uh, three creatures. That's uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, so Flame Wreath goes on the Pit Demon, which is pretty nice uh, when you're trying to steal, and another Dust Imp comes down. So uh, Jay's got a comfortable lead at two keys and three amber. Uh, Kalanti's at uh, no keys, five amber. Goes back to Brobnar, uh, hits the Pit Demon with the punch, drops Smash to stun the Dust Imp, and then... Uh, kills the pit demon i'm not sure what happened there but uh urchin comes down steals one another urchin several urchins and another umbra you gotta uh man these guys just keep coming oh and foil urchin watch out uh so j j philip he's not quite at check he's getting close uh he poltergeist uses uh banner of battle and destroy it plays toxin and succubus J. Philip Egg back to shadows because why not? Special delivery comes down. He's cycled through his deck. Uh, Umbra fights uh, to steal one. Urchin fights to kill Toxin. And then Urchin reaps. So he's up to eight Amber. Do can he pull him off check for his third key? He cannot. That is good game, everybody. Uh, he goes ahead and drops some of his, his guys anyways. But that is the game. Um, and there you go. It's official. So... Uh, good job to these guys. Uh, Kalanti had a good run. Um, Jay Philbeck, congratulations. Uh, he will live to fight another day, but that's been another gameplay video from the Kip Survival Tournament. And we hope to see you in the next one.